Hello, la la la. Welcome back to Foster the Meeple, a channel all about board games and board gamey things. I am Kyle with another episode of King's Court. Today, we are going to do the one cube calyx challenge, which I first saw from Max at Table Knots do. Now, I know this isn't very innovative of me, but it seemed like a fun challenge. And I used to work at UPS loading trucks, not to brag, so pretty good at manipulating boxes into small cubbies. Let's see how it goes. Try to get Blood Rage. Now, you might be thinking, Kyle, you psychopath. Blood Rage is huge, which is true, but it is my favorite game of all time. And honestly, it is a bit smaller than all my other favorite games. My Sidebox is massive. TI4, obviously massive. Root has a ton. It, I think if I just stick to like one of my favorite games, Blood Rage will be okay in there. I think we can make that work. Another, a few of my other favorite games, I think are actually gonna fit here though, because Brass Lancashire, is very, very thin. So I think I'm gonna try to get brass in there too. All right, so we got brass. And we're gonna try to do this without any overhang, like Max, he cheated big time. So that's something to consider in all of this. Honey Buzz is not going, sorry, Honey Buzz. The thing about this challenge is you kind of want like, what makes it fun is you want some big box games, because especially for me, that's what I really enjoy. But you need to be efficient with your space. Because you're only going on one cube, you need to have good variety, right? You can't have like all the same games. I'm not gonna put just a ton of card games because that gets boring. So I'm gonna try to manipulate this a little bit to where I have a good, a good collection on its own, even if it wasn't just limited to a Calyx cube. So we got an economic game, we got a troops on a map game here. I would love to get Clans of Caledonia in there because it's another favorite, obviously, and it's a pretty small box. I'm kind of afraid to turn this vertically because it's in an insert. So we'll, we'll hold off on that one for a second. But you know, you gotta make sacrifices when you're in the game like this. Okay, what else was I considering? Ah, I know one for sure is going, and I don't know if I'm gonna put this in quite yet, but it's Regicide, which a lot of people have heard of Regicide. I know Jeff and Jamie really like it. The Table Nuts crew really digs it. And this is just a standard deck of cards, honestly. But it's a, this is a really fun cooperative game. It's worth the 15 bucks to throw at it just for the artwork, as many others have stated. But this is Regicide, but it's also every other card game I want it to be. That's definitely going. I can just stick that up here. That's a for sure. I would like to get either Architects of the West Kingdom or Paladins in there because they are small boxes and they are very meaty games. I like Paladins way more than Architects of the West Kingdom. But Architects is like a, a pretty solid worker placement game. It plays fast. It's a little bit easier to introduce than Paladins. I'm gonna stick with Paladins, I think just because I do like it more. Um, I can't be thinking about other people in this. This is all about me. It's gonna fit right in there for now. Hansa, Tatanica, a game I have always championed on the channel. Great Euro style game. It's very mean. It's kind of, even though this is the big box, it is kind of like a small box. This is very standard, standard size box for being a big box. And like the base game on its own is enough, but this comes with like three maps and two different modules. This is infinite replayability in my opinion. This has got to be in here if I can get it to fit, which should not be a problem. I think Paladins is gonna have to come out for now. It's a smaller box. When you're in the, when you're loading trucks, you gotta go big to small. So let's get the big boxes in there first and then we can go around those. I would like a worker placement game in there. I have a ton. Do I put Agricola, the only game that matters in there, which is another pretty big box? Do I put Dune Imperium, which is gonna hit my deck builder and my worker placement? I don't know. I'm trying Trying to see if I can get like one more big box in here and then just fill out the smaller stuff in front. I think that might be a smart way to go. What do I do? Dune Imperium, Agricola is a smaller box, and Caverna, that would give it the edge. Let's try to get Dune Imperium in there, which if I do that, I would have to take out Hansa, put in Dune Imperium. Ooh, I'm losing space fast with, the, with those boxes. What am I gonna put there? That's a huge gap right there. There's nothing there. That's, Dune might be going here in a minute. Let's think about some of these smaller games I would want. Some smaller games I know I'm gonna be adding. Critters at War, great two player tug of war game. The box could actually be smaller. So it's kind of unfortunate that it is this big for this, uh, this exercise. Scout, one introduced to me by Jeff and Jamie, definitely coming. I don't know how much replayability Scout has, but the box is like obviously so tiny that like I'm gonna be able to like I'm gonna be able to shove it back in there. That'll be fine. That's going. And then like I definitely want a party game and like I have code names here and this has code names and code names duet in it. And it has room for other code names iterations. Like if I wanted to get pictures, I could put it in this box. And code names is one of my favorites. I actually like playing this game at four more than any other player count. Oh, code names. That would be the cheating overhang thing. Code names. I want to get you in there. You're gonna be tough to do. 
You're going to be tough to do, friend. Dune Imperium might have to go. All right, let's get Hans in there. Let's go ahead and get Paladins in there. Still have a small gap there. I bet I could get like some of my other smaller boxes in there. Nope. Nope. Gosh, dang it. Dang it. Critters at War. Why are you so big? All right, what else we got? Oh, Biblios. Biblios is a pretty good game. Not one of my favorites. It's a fine game. I think I would be fine with that being in the collection if I can get it to fit somewhere. Can't yet. Okay. Blood Rage is really starting, <laughs> starting to weigh a heavy toll. What do we got? What else was I thinking? Oh, Watergate. Excellent two-player game. I love the theme. Right along the lines of Critters at War, where it's just a great tug of war style game where somebody's Nixon, somebody's the editor. I've talked about it before, I'm pretty sure. Not huge in the two-player games usually, but Watergate is one of my favorites along with Critters at War. That's probably can fit in there somewhere. I really wish this gap didn't exist. It's like Blood Rage. Ugh. I got cocky early with Blood Rage. I thought I was going to be able to get it to go. What else do we got? Barrage too big. Terraforming Mars. My box is massive. Big mistakes there. Pandemic. Ooh, Pandemic. Pandemic might be able to fit. Pandemic's pretty good. I like Pandemic. Ugh. Pandemic might go before Paladins though. I need, I'm going to need a cooperative game besides Regicide. And Pandemic is one that I actually, I really enjoy still to this day. I don't play it a ton anymore after playing Legacy, but I think Pandemic is like a genius level design. So if I can get Pandemic to fit in there, I might be able to fit something else smaller in there and then worry about Paladins and Architects later. I got it. I got it, friends. Clans. Clans is going. <laughs> like a glove. That's a snug five big box games right there. You love to see that. All right. Where did... Did I already put Regicide back there? I did. Perfect. Okay. Let's go with... I have other smaller card games. I was trying to avoid doing smaller card games because that feels like... It's like too easy. Do I put Fleet? Fleet's a decent roll, right? Fleet, also kind of a big box though for what it is. That's going to cost some overhang there. I That overhangs a little bit. I think I'm willing to punt that inch. You guys will give me the inch, right? It's a game of inches. We might put Fleet in this this shindig. I would still really like Paladins. If I can just put Paladins there, I think. Because I don't know how many other big box games I'm getting in here, folks. What do I... Do I... Splendor? Splendor is annoying. Like, I would love love to have splendor in this because my wife megan loves splendor it's something we've played a lot especially early in our marriage we don't play it a ton anymore but if this box was cut into an eighth of its size splendor would be coming just for the memories alas it is not they annoyed me with that box size as a, as everybody else everybody else is annoyed with it too okay code names code names i would really like you to go that has a little bit of overhang that's that's going to be fine to me if I can get it in there. So I can fit some some games back there. Like I can get Scout back there. Ooh. I can get some other smaller games. Fuji Flush. That's like a, kind of a party game. Love Letter. Ooh, love Letter. Love Letter. I don't know if I've ever spoken about Love Letter. I have like a love-hate relationship with this game. I think it's a very fun like bar game. The problem with Love Letter is you always think it's going to take 15 minutes and it always takes an hour. So like why not just play something different? <laughs> that's going to take an hour i swear and it's always going to come down to four people have three hearts at the end and it's going to come down to the last round that's a fact what do we got what do we got here res arcana also kind of a big box res arcana as much as i love it i know jeff loves it that's that doesn't stand a chance at going whitehall mystery this is a fun game i like playing this game with my friend kevin because he's really bad at it and he's not very he's not bad at very many games i've played like 300 games with kevin and he's won over 50 percent of them it's very annoying but this one <laughs> He was humbled a little bit in this one. You know what I'm just realizing is that I'm going to have to put all these games back. That's not going to be very fun. I have so much space. I don't have a ton of small box games. That's what's making this hard. And they're all like card games that I'm not even like super thrilled about. Curse at War is going. I, I really wish it could fit in that spot up there. That sucks. Let's get Fleet. Oh yeah, that's snug. Like a glove. Uh, I'm going to sh try to shove that back again. Nope, not happening. Not happening, Kyle. What are you doing? That's okay. Cruise at War is in. I might have to punt Watergate. That's so disappointing. Blockus. That's pretty thin. That's a pretty thin game. I could have fit that where Pandemic was. This this gap here is going to be all small card games. I'm about to throw every card game I have in here. All right, let's get to the card game. First off, Death Valley. Death Valley is a wallet size game. Who's that company that makes this? I always forget their name. Something wallet. Oh my gosh, it's going to annoy me. Is it's not on anywhere on this envelope. That's a joke, right? Button shy. <laughs> Nailed it. First try. Death Valley is a button shy game, 18 card game. This kind of stuff is genius. Much like Critters at War, which is also only 18 cards, I'm pretty sure. You have a full-fledged game here. I only bought this because I've been in the same fantasy football league for 15 years, and we all randomly named our divisions, and my division that I've been in for 
half of my life is named Death Valley. So when they released a card game, I just, I bought it literally because of that. And it's an okay game. It's a two player game. I don't know if I will ever play this again, but it's the size of that, it's the size of a dollar. It's going, we're keeping that. Ghost of Christmas is one I bought at Origins, have not played yet, but I love Christmas. And I think that's gonna fit in right there. That's going. Fuji Flush, another fun party game. Uh, that's going, that's gonna fit right up in there. Fuji Flush is a game that I played with Max, the Table Knots crew and the FTM crew when they Jeff and Jamie came to visit in Kentucky and Ohio. There's like some insidish jokes there. As I warmed up, I think it, that game's like fun. I would love to play that with other people. Not that it wasn't fun with them. Gosh, that's gonna sound really bad. Jamie, edit all that out. It makes me think like I don't like you or something. That's not the case. High Society, another game that I embarrass Kevin at. High Society is a really fun auction game by Rainer Knizia. Probably one of my favorite Knizias. Um, I'm not, I think Knizia's, like I've stated before, I think Knizia's a little overrated. I love Tigers and Euphrates. I will, and I really like High Society. So High Society can go because it's such a small game and a really good auction game for and I don't really like auction games I think that's why me and Knizia don't get along too well is that I'm not super into auctions because I don't know what anything's worth in real life let alone fake life sushi go uh, sushi goes a fun introduction one that's probably gonna fit in there I really wish I could have got Dune in there folks that sucks Arboretum I love Arboretum I don't know if that's gonna fit no darn it Fox in the Forest I have. I don't really want to take Fox in the Forest, especially with Ghost of Christmas. Um, that's a decent enough trick-taking game. I miss this spot here is going to kill me because I don't have a ton of stuff that can fit in there. Like how much can I maneuver this stuff around to get anything else to fit? I'm like seriously like millimeters short everywhere. What else do I got here? Should I bring along some terraforming Mario player boards just for fun? No, that's a joke. Skull King, that's a trick taking game. I've never played Skull King. I got this for Christmas. I really need to get this to the table. I love trick taking. Love it, love it, love it. And that fits right in. Do I just take it and just like roll the dice on it? Maybe I'll like it. I think I do. Is that it, people? Here's my Calyx cube full of games. Let's count and go back over what games are in my one Calyx cube collection. Here we go. Skull King, that's one. Ghost of Christmas, two. Sushi Go, three. Curtis at War, four. Fleet the Dice Game at five. Codename, six. Paladin, seven. Scout, eight. High Society, nine. Death Valley, 10. Brass, Lancashire, 11. Fuji Flush, 12. Hansa Teutonica, the big box, in fact, 13. Base Pandemic, you gotta have a classic. Love Letter, 15. Plains of Caledonia, one I wasn't sure I was going to make fit. I did. Go me. 16. Regicide in every other card game ever. 17. And finally, 18. My number one game of all time, Blood Rage, which made it very hard to do the rest of the cube with. Made it. So 18 games. And I have area control. I have card games. I have cooperative games. I have trick taking games. I have party games. I have Euros. I have economic games. I have uh, anything else. Did I miss anything? I don't have any worker placement games. That's crazy because I have 4,000 worker placement games over here. That's that's upsetting. What are you going to do? We'll get over it. I have two player games. I have some drafting games. I think I have a pretty good collection here, people. Tell me what you think. If you would be interested in doing this, please do it. I would love to see everybody else's challenge. I don't remember what number Max to hit for number of games. I would love to. I hope 18 beats his. I'll have to go back and watch. If you are interested in buying board games like these that can fit into a Calyx Cube, check out your friendly local game store. For here in Columbus, it is the Guard Tower on Treeview. If you're ever up in Halifax, check out the Boardroom Game Cafe. I heard it's excellent. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Please comment below. Tell me what picks you agree with. Tell me if all those card games were stupid, but I was just trying to fill space. I don't care. Just let's have a conversation about these great games. That's all I got for now, folks. Bye. Is that it? Oh no. I lost audio. Why? Why? I lost audio for a bit. I hope my phone picked it up enough. I would hate to re-record all of this. Such is life. Okay. Oh, I did that switch. That's, I don't like all these inch jokes. Sets me up. That felt like, woohoo, go DV.